The plant has wilted and shriveled to protect its water from escaping into the atmosphere. The stomatas have closed to stop the process of diffusion. But how do we bring it back to its freshness? Let us water the plant and wait for half an hour. Look, the plant is gradually getting back its freshness. To understand what is exactly happening inside the plant, let us do a few experiments. Cucumbers have been cut for making salad. But in only one of the bowls, we are mixing salt with cucumber. Let us wait and see what happens. Wow! So much water has come out. Let's check out the other bowl. Salt has not been sprinkled on these cucumbers. Let us see if they yield any water. No, nothing. So the salt has something to do with the water draining out of the cucumber. And now we know how to get some healthy cucumber water for a drink. Let us now move on to another experiment. We mix some sugar to one sample of the grated coconut and leave the other as it is. After 10 minutes, we shall see if there is any change in the two samples of grated coconut. We do spot some droplets of water here. Let us see the other sample. It seems dry. It seems the sugar has brought out the moisture in the coconut. To understand what exactly happens, let us do a proper experiment in a lab. To begin with, we have to prepare a concentrated sugar solution. While the sugar dissolves in the water, let us peel the potatoes. Make a few hollow cubes with these potatoes. The walls should be as thin as possible. After clearing the table, put the beakers side by side. In one, pour the concentrated sugar solution. This is the beaker with pure water. Put some sugar solution inside the potato and mark the level of the sugar solution with a pin. Inside the potato, put some water and mark the level of water with a pin. Pour the sugar solution inside the beaker. Add drops of eosine in both to lend some color. Now leave both the petri dishes undisturbed for at least two hours. Carefully check the level of water inside the potato box. It has increased. Water from the beaker has entered the potato. That is why the sugar solution in the box is a little colored. Let's check the other beaker. The water in the box has gone down slightly. So, we see that in both the beakers, the water molecules penetrate the potato layer and move from a zone of low concentration to a zone of high concentration. This process is called osmosis. Osmosis is nothing but a kind of diffusion where the flow of solvent molecules that is water in case of biological systems move down its concentration gradient. The picture at the molecular level is something like this. In both the cases, the water molecules permeate the vegetable membrane called a semi-permeable membrane because it allows the movement of water only from an area of low concentration to an area of high concentration. The membrane does not allow the molecules of sugar to pass through because 
sugar molecules are bigger in size than water molecules. Osmosis takes place in all cells. The cell membranes are semi-permeable membranes. So water from the cells of the cucumber come out when the cells come in contact with the salt. Similarly, water from the cells of coconut come out when the cells come in contact with sugar. The biggest cell that we know is an egg. Let us try out an experiment with an egg. To do the experiment with the egg, the hard egg shell has to be removed. But how do we remove the egg shell without breaking the egg? The hydrochloric acid used for cleaning bathroom floors will dissolve the eggshells in 5 to 7 minutes. Let us now see if the shell has dissolved. Yes, the shells are gone and the eggs have become rubbery. Let us now clean the eggs, wipe them dry and weigh them one by one. We shall now dip one egg in plain water and the other in concentrated sugar solution. We now have to wait for one hour and then see if there is a change in the eggs. We can see that this egg has absorbed water and grown in size. Let us take its weight. The increase in weight is because of the water that has got inside the egg. Water is a hypotonic solution in respect of viscous substance density within the egg. The process of water entering the cell through the semi-permeable membrane is called endosmosis. The sugar solution is hypotonic solution in respect with viscous substance density within the egg. When a cell is surrounded by a hypotonic solution, it loses water. The process is called exosmosis. Endosmosis and exosmosis can also be easily shown with the swim bladder of a fish. Let us take it home clean it and do the experiment. Concentrated sugar solution is poured into the bladder. We pour clean water inside the beaker that is outside the bladder. We fill one bladder with sugar solution and the other with plain water. Both look the same. But from what follows, you will have to guess which is which. Let us now wait and see what happens. So, water has entered 
one bladder and drained out of another endosmosis and exosmosis so this beaker has a hypotonic solution that is sugar solution and the other one has a hypotonic solution that is water if the concentration of the solution inside the cell and outside are the same then the solution is called isotonic solution from the changing size of the cell it is easy to guess whether the solution is hypotonic or hypotonic or isotonic but what has osmosis to do with the watering of plants let us get to the root of the problem water enters the plant body through the cells of the root one of the important process is osmosis when the water moves from cell to cell it is called cell to cell osmosis from cell to cell water molecules move from root hair to xylem vessel of root the cells in the leaf receive the water expand in size and the stomata open once again the leaf is now ready to carry out photosynthesis transpiration exchange of gases etc the plant is now ready to start its essential physiological processes not only in plants it is equally important for animals also osmosis helps in absorption of water from intestine kidney etc that is exchange of water from body fluids and tissues water content of animal cells is maintained by osmosis and apart from these osmosis has a significant role in different physiological processes of living beings